It took 40, I think. I think. I'm not sure, but I think it's 40. But I could actually count. So I think I will. Ha ha ha. So. Oh no, I can't. <laughs> I don't have all the month. Only have March and April. So now I can count. Uh, so we're gonna say it's uh, it's it's week fourteen. So, uh, oh look, I did my bullet journal and look how pretty those tulips are. But they are so pretty. I didn't know I could paint something like that. I love them so much. Yeah, I love them. Tulips are my favorite flowers and of course yellow and slightly orange flowers are my favorite so those are really really my favorite flowers so if you happen to pass by here and want to buy me flowers uh, keep in mind that yellow tulips are my favorite flowers and I would always appreciate someone who comes with me with a bouquet of yellow tulips even if they come to murder me I will still love you and appreciate you a lot. I started it eating again. I am feeling better. So I'm gonna take that away. I'm feeling so much better and the first thing one of the first thing I did on Saturday was cook. Add vegetable to throw into a pot so I had cabbages cabbage, potatoes, carrots, leek, and fake sausages. I threw all of it in a pot with a lot of broth and let it cook for hours and it was so good. <laughs> so fucking good. We still have some of it because I did a lot of it and uh, it's very good. It's very filling and it contains so much good stuff that my body as I'm feeling it, as I'm tasting the thing is like, oh yes, fuck yeah, nutrients! So it's pretty good. Uh, it's not as filling as something actually starchy because there's not a lot of actual potatoes in it. But it's pretty good for me. I also compiled all of my mermaid pr prompts into a really pretty uh, prompt file and uh, yeah, it looked very pretty and that's what I'm gonna do, I'm pretty excited about it. I didn't think, I got the plan for the year, I didn't think I'd do mermaid at all, but it just makes sense and I'm excited about it and I think it's gonna be fun, so I wanted to do it. And I went to the thrift store where I, have, I think I put two more umbrellas so yeah I do not feel particularly good about buying so many umbrellas but after all I decided that it was a collection and that the purpose of said collection it was to be a collection that exists and have more and more of it and not to be used so it was okay if I had more umbrellas or scarves that I can use because that's not the point of them. The point is to have a collection. And I felt so much better. <laughs> so I know I continue buying them, but without the guilt. And it's really good. Mm. Yeah, something went wrong somewhere. Because I have a day that just disappeared. So yeah. That was pretty weird. Anyway, on Monday... Yeah, that's why I don't know where Sunday went. I don't know if it ever existed. I don't know. On Monday I went to see my psychiatrist. Which was a good idea. Because I was really dumb. I didn't know how to not be down all that much anymore. And so I went there. And she told me that I was in psychic mental exhaustion and that sleeping more and more, even if it did good for the physical exhaustion, 
did not good at all for the mental exhaustion so I had to stop doing that and start doing things again even if it was hard and I didn't want to and my brain was against it starting doing things that I love again will start back the serotonin machine so I really need to do this so I did it slowly but I'm still doing it and it's working because I should listen to my psychiatrist more <laughs> so it's working and I'm feeling better thanks my psychiatrist she's the best I also did a bit of crochet I have all the body parts for Nemo except the head and its little ears things because of course it has little ears that I have no idea how to do but that's not a matter whatsoever at least it's not antlers and uh, yeah once I finish this one I'm gonna embroider its face that's why the head it's kind of a bit of a big problem right now and then I'm gonna have to work on the tentacles and the damn octopus attached to it so yeah that's kind of a big deal I haven't started yet but I, I I started I did the big parts of Nemo so that's the thing and I did some laundry because I had some laundry to do and oh yeah um I don't know if I told you the guy for the fiber came last week or the week before and uh, he couldn't install it because he forgot his fucking skill <laughs> and, and I, I wanted to punch him I did not and now I regret not doing it because now whenever I call them they tell me they have no disponibility to come fix it for me and my internet is still spotty and uh, I still want to kill him I want to kill them and so for now I do not have the possibility of even having someone come over to start again to start again and again for another time because it's still not working and uh, yeah so I call them uh, be between the the laundry things and I crocheted crochet it to crochet too on um, Wednesday Wednesday I think I filmed um, the bullet journal and um, it looks a little weird because I'm still suck at uh, doing silhouettes but apart from that I still like it and it has the medium that I wanted it to have so it's yeah, it's good and uh, I spent a lot of time on computer so first I downloaded a lot of fix because the ones that I had on my Kindle were also dreadfully bad that I just couldn't force myself to read them I just opened them read a few pages, said uh, no, closed them and tried to find another one but at that point my 17 fix in my Kindle uh, for, for this ship uh, were all taken and were all like that and I was like I, I need I need new content or I'm gonna cry <laughs> so I downloaded a lot of new fix and um, I went through the very same emotional journey that is scrolling through the manic tag and weeping <laughs> Cringing. So I decided that it was fun actually to live blog that <laughs> and to explain everything that I felt going through the Malek Tag and I decided to set up a new blog <laughs> on Tumblr that is live blogging Shadow Hunters. So I'm gonna really live blog fake reading but I'm also planning on live blogging an eventual rewatch of this series of the show and um that's the moment I realized I hated myself because it's terrible. I don't want to put myself through this again. <laughs> and uh, I'm, I'm considering it, which I don't know why, because it's terrible. But just for the fun of live blogging it, I'm considering it. So maybe, maybe. So I did that on Wednesday. I did a bit. I did the new blog, I did the downloading of the fix, and I did the filming. I have too many of them. Anyway, 
I did not do any archery this week and I felt pretty bad about it, but the weather is not very nice and I don't really want to. So yeah. Uh, yesterday I went to the tower club and I went grocery shopping and I bought some stuff to garden with. I spent 40 bucks on it, I think. I can't bring myself to regret it because it's gonna be fun, I love gardening. So yeah, and today I went to the Mahjong and I went to buy some gluten-free stuff to the store that carries gluten-free stuff. I wanted to go buy gas and I didn't. And I wanted to go to Lidl and I didn't. So yay! And I came back and did nothing for a couple hours. I was really tired. I'm, I'm pretty tired uh, still. So I'm still, I'm doing things, but I'm doing it slowly. Also, I'm kind of obsessed with getting the mail uh, lately because I've been ordering stuff to make ornaments out of and slime out of because I've been watching way too many slime videos uh, on YouTube and now I I want to make slime which I never did and I'm excited about but I can't find Borax here so I'm gonna have to I, I have to order it so it's probably gonna come at some point and I have uh, my best friend who sent me a non-made gift, handmade gift, and I don't know what it is, it's a surprise and I'm excited about it. And she sent it two weeks ago, three weeks ago, and it's still not there, so I assume they lost it. And it's an unmade gift, she spent month on it. And I'm so mad. <laughs> I'm so, so mad. But on the bright side, I did receive some of my ornaments uh, thing so I have some polymer clay and it's the one with the glitter because once baked that thing ex looks exactly like the one uh, like the snow on in the nightmare before Christmas so some of my ornaments will be jack in the snow and so that is perfect for it and I bought five of them because there was um, an ad on the on the eBay on, on the eBay seller and it said buy five get seven so i bought five and i did not get seven so yeah classic but at least i have my five i'm gonna take it a little bit the other thing i received were foam sheets so i'm not exactly excited myself about foam sheets not gonna buy them. i wouldn't have bought them for myself but as they're on their own i admit that I've been watching a lot of ornaments making videos on YouTube and the most inter interesting ones were made out of those foam sheets and I love them and I want to make them and I think they would be great for me to sell on eBay on Etsy um, as part of packages uh, like 10, 10 ornaments, um, surprise box things and um, I want to make them so I'm gonna make them I think it's gonna be fun they're very pretty and uh, they don't look that hard to make so I think I can make them. So yeah, and also I have bought, I think I showed it before, but I have found this, uh, I think it's tablecloth at the thrift store and I bought it because it's dark green and it has little angels in golden on top. So I, my plan is to cut off little trap, little rectangles with the angel in the middle and they're very close so it's gonna be fucking hard but I'm gonna try and sew two together to make a little plush cushion ornament with the little angels and I think it's gonna be really cool and I'm very excited about that so I'm getting excited about the the whole ornament thing it's a good thing um, what I'd like to do this month, now that I have actually have a to-do list written. Look, look how pretty it is. Anyway, uh, I have the globe that I want to make because for Earth Day I want to make the pictures that I've been thinking about for two years. I have some paperwork to do because I don't have 
health insurance. Uh, it ends at the end of the work, uh, at the end of the month. I still don't have the fiber, so I'm gonna have to fix that thing. I want to make a Mr. Egg Fabergé style egg, Finnish Nemo, and the octopus that comes with it. Do a monofin, make a monofin. I'm working on it. I'm I'm searching for ideas and stuff. I know what what I want to do. I want to at least start on the sketches for Mermaid because that's gonna be a lot of work. I'd like to sew, I'd like to make teas, I'd like to write, I'd like to edit videos, and I'd like to make ornaments and I'd like to quit finally my insurance. And I hope I can do soon. All of that of witches, wishes. We'll see how that happens. Uh, after that, I also need to find ways to to make my veins appear more because I need them to show very well uh, on the day uh, that I will go to the tattoo conv convention asking for a tattoo artist to trace over them in gold so I need them to show. They show pretty well on a regular basis but I still want them to show really good so I can be sure that all of them are covered. So I need to find a way to make that happen. Apparently being called help a little but usually when people ask Google uh, to do something about showing things it's not about them showing more it's about showing less. So they're like you may be, be, be cold so try to be warm or, or you may be dehydrated and maybe try to drink water so um, I have to do it in reverse so <laughs> it's just not very fun uh, so yeah as you can see I am feeling a lot better uh, next week I do need to do some archery I my rent has raised so I need to change that uh, I do not have Tao or Mahjong next week but I have my landlord who comes to assess with uh, an expert to assess the value of the thing so they need me to open the door to them anyway uh, so yeah archery i need to do some i need to clean up my car completely go fetch gas go to the car repair finally find out what the fuck is going on with my car do the health insurer thing, try to do the globe. I still have to do the dishes because it's becoming pretty bad. Go on edit and double and voice over my videos and finish Nemo. Uh, one other thing that happened with my dishes is that um, with the exhaustion my body is more clumsy and I broke a couple things. One of them is the cap of my new, very new for me, and very pretty and very fun and a very favorite teapot. And I just broke my heart. The the cover just just dropped and shattered in a million pieces so I knew I couldn't fix it and it just broke me because without the lid it's just not the same, you know, I can see the content it's it's not as fun and I'm gonna miss it a lot and now I'm considering what to do with it because maybe I could just turn it into I'm gonna have some some hanging teapots to plant strawberries in it and I'm wondering if I should do the same with this one because maybe maybe it'll just make more sense because um, I won't be able to just drink tea out of this one without having my heart breaking so I'm wondering, but I also don't want to waste it and stop using it just because the lid is gone because I still love it a lot and if it goes outside with strawberries planted in it for a while uh, it's just not gonna gonna turn out well for it and just yeah so yeah it's pretty shitty but all in all it's been a, win a, big, a good week so I'm gonna continue and hope that next week is better. We always hope the next week is better. <laughs>